हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू फिजिक्स ऑनलाइन क्लासेस फॉर क्लास ट्वेल्व स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस कंटिन्यू चैप्टर सिक्स इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट एनर्जी कंसिडरेशन इन इमोशनल ईएमएफ यस डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी डिराइव एन एक्सप्रेशन फॉर मोशनल ई दैट इज EMF induced in a conductor where it is moving in a uniform magnetic field and the expression is given by E equal to B L V E indicates induced EMF B indicates magnetic field L indicates length of the conductor and V is its velocity E equal to B L V this is an expression for motional EMF now let us study about energy consideration in motional emf yes we know that the magnitude of motional emf is given by so here i am going to write magnitude of motional emf that we have derived in the previous class you can remember the expression the magnitude of motional emf and it is given by the equation e equal to b l v so this expression we already studied in the previous class and this is the expression for motional emf now i am going to take it as equation number 1 using this equation 1 or using the expression of motional emf now let us learn about energy consideration in motional emf the first point i am going to express electric current induced by emf we are going to write an expression for electric current and this current is induced by emf electric current induced by emf yes here we already studied ohm's law what is the expression for ohm's law we know that v equal to i into r right v is directly proportional to i under physical conditions when they are kept constant v equal to i into r r is the proportionality constant and it is called resistance v equal to i r here we want electric current so we can write this equation as or we can write it as i equal to v divided by r so here i equal to v divided by r what is v here v is the potential difference across the ends of the conductor but here we are talking about emf potential difference electromotive force both are same is it clear but here we are using the word emf because only by changing magnetic field we are going to produce electric current so instead of v i am going to write e divided by r v and e both are same potential difference and this is induced emf this equation can be written as i equal to e divided by r now in place of e we can write equation number 1 so what is e here this e is induced emf so we can use equation 1 we know that e equal to b l v so this equation can be written as see here. from equation 1 we can write the above equation as i equal to in place of e i can write b l v divided by r so what is the expression for electric current induced by emf the equation is i equal to b l v divided by r now i am going to take this equation as equation number 2 is it clear so electric current induced by emf is given by i equal to b l v divided by r now i am going to take the second condition or the second equation that is magnetic force experienced by conductor i am going to write an expression for magnetic force which is experienced by conductor so magnetic force means generally the equation is given by f equal to i b l sin theta this is the equation you already studied in the previous chapter moving charges and magnetism magnetic force is given by the equation f equal to i b l sin theta so here if theta equal to 90 degree 
Suppose if I am going to consider theta equal to 90 degree, so the expression becomes F equal to sin 90 is what? 1. So we will get the equation IBN. So why we have to take theta equal to 90 degree? Only to get maximum magnetic force. Maximum magnetic force experienced by the conductor. We want a maximum value. So we can take theta equal to 90 degree. We will get F equal to IBL. Right? Now, so in the place of I, what you can write? I is the current induced by EMF. In place of I, we can use equation number 2. See here, from equation 2, the above equation becomes F equal to, in place of I, what to write here? B L V divided by R. Remaining is what? B into L key passities. Or this equation can be written as B into B will be B square. L into L will be L square. V divided by R. B square L square V divided by R. So this is an expression for magnetic force experienced by the conductor. Is it clear? F equal to B square L square V divided by R. Now I am going to take this equation is 3. Is it clear? So we found an expression for electric current induced by EMF. And also magnetic force experienced by conductor. Similarly, I am going to take the third point that is about power. Power required, how much power is required to push the conductor? Power required to push the conductor. This is the third point. It is all about power. Yes, generally we know the expression for power. So, power means what? P equal to F into V. Right? Or if you don't know this expression or you can use power is rate of doing work. W divided by T. P equal to W is work. Work is force into displacement divided by T. P equal to force keep as it is. Displacement divided by time is velocity. So, P equal to F into V. This equation I am going to use here. Now, in the place of EF, what you are going to substitute? What is EF here? This is the magnetic force experienced by the conductor. So, in the place of EF, what you can write? So, we can write equation 3. That is F equal to B square L square V divided by R. So, substitute here. This is from equation 3. We are going to write P equal to in place of EF. What we can write? B square, L square, V divided by R, keep as it is into V. Now this equation can be written as B square, L square, V into V will be V square divided by R. So what is the final expression we got here? P equal to B square, L square, V square divided by R. So this is the expression for power required to push the conductor. Let us take it as equation number four. Is it clear? Now, the last point is all about the power dissipated as heat energy. Here I am going to write the fourth point. Power dissipated as heat energy or simply you can write heat. Power dissipated as heat. Yes, we already know the expression for power dissipation. In the chapter current electricity, you have studied power dissipation or the power dissipated as heat energy. Generally, power dissipation is given by the equation P equal to I square R. This equation you studied in the chapter current electricity, you can remember. P equal to what? I square into R. So now, here in the place of I square, what you can write? So we can write equation number 2. Observe here. Equation 2, current induced by EMF. B, L, V divided by R. Equation 2, we can substitute here. So, here we can take from equation 2, the above equation becomes P equal to I square. What is the value of I? B, L, V divided by R whole square into R. 
or we can square this value b square l square v square divided by r square into r so resistance 1 r value will get cancel we will get b square l square v square divided by r so this is the expression for power dissipated as heat energy now you can observe equation number 4 as well as equation number 5. Observe these two expressions. Both are same here. Then what it indicates? How much power is required to push the conductor? The same amount of power is dissipated as heat energy. That's why both are having the same equations and that is B square L square V square divided by R. So, these five expressions you have to remember when you are going to solve numerical problems. The derivations are not required for your board examination. Only you can remember all these five equations. Yes, once again you can observe the first equation. E equal to BLV. This is an expression for motional EMF. And this derivation carries three marks we already derived in the previous class. Equation 2 is I equal to BLV divided by R. So, this is what electric current induced by EMF. And equation 3 is magnetic force experienced by the conductor. And it is F equal to B square L square V divided by R. Then third point power required to push the conductor. And its equation is P equal to B square L square V square divided by R. And power dissipated as heat is also same. So here you can remember Lenz law as well as Faraday's law. Remember one thing dear students. Whenever we are inducing EMF in a closed coil or in a circuit. So there should be changing magnetic field takes place. For example if you are using a magnet. When that magnet is moving towards the coil. Magnetic field changes, induced EMF takes place in the coil according to Lenz law. That induced EMF takes place in anti-clockwise direction and that generates north pole. North pole of the magnet, north pole of the coil, both are same. There is a force of repulsion. So, when you are going to move the magnet towards the coil, so it is very difficult, extra work has to be done. Right? So, to push that conductor, we need a power. Power required to push the conductor is B square, L square, V square by R. Yes, anyhow, we are moving the magnet, magnetic field changes, induced EMF takes place. Before that, whenever that magnet is moving towards the coil, so the force is required. That force is experienced by the conductor and that is magnetic force and that magnetic force is given by the expression B square, L square, V divided by R. When that conductor experiences magnetic force, induced EMF takes place. So, electric current is given by the equation I equal to BLV divided by R. Is it clear? So, this is all about energy consideration in motional EMF. Now, we can derive relation between induced charge and changing magnetic flux and this derivation carries 3 marks in your board examination. So, here directly I am going to use Faraday's second law. We already studied according to Faraday's second law. Faraday's second law. I am going to write the equation E equal to d pi divided by dt. Right? Induced EMF is equal to rate of change of magnetic flux. Let us take it as equation number 1. This gives only magnitude. Don't write negative sign. Negative sign is given by Lenz law. Polarity, direction, it is given by Lenz law. So, I am going to use a Faraday's second law E equal to d pi by dt. And then, we have an expression for electric current I equal to E divided by R. Instead of V, I am using the alphabet E. Don't get confused. Potential difference. Instead of potential difference, we are using the word electromotive force E. I equal to E divided by R. Is it clear? Then, so what is I here? I is electric current. So, in place of electric current, we can write rate of change of electric charge. So, in place of I, I am going to write 
dq divided by dt is equal to e divided by r because we are going to find the relation between induced charge we want the expression for charge so instead of current i am going to write charge with respect to time so dq divided by dt equal to e divided by r now from equation 1 in place of e we can write d pi by dt the above equation becomes dq divided by dt is equal to in place of e we can write d pi divided by dt remaining is what 1 divided by r right now here dt will get cancelled remaining is what dq equal to d pi divided by r so dq equal to d pi by r this is an expression for induced charge in terms of changing magnetic flux so what it gives dq indicates induced charge d pi indicates changing magnetic flux divided by r indicates resistance induced charge equal to changing magnetic flux divided by resistance and it gives relation between induced charge and changing magnetic flux so this is all about energy consideration in motional emf as well as relation between induced charge and changing magnetic flux